Hey what's going on guys, Tessie Verti here and welcome back to another Minecraft running tutorial for version 1.15. In this tutorial I'm going to be covering how we can go ahead and add fences, no fence gates, ladders, torches and walls. So I know these are rather simple things um, but I just thought I'd cover them uh, since I've already done most of the other like stuff similar to them. Um, so I figured why not just do these, it's a very simple thing, um, it's mainly just JSONs that we need to go over. So let's go ahead and first create these blocks. So some of them will need their own classes since they have protected constructors, so uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and create a public static final registry object. And apparently I cannot type, but, you know, I can never type. Okay. Okay, I don't know why Eclipse is being really weird today. No, it's because I did a capital L on final. It never likes when you do that. So this first one will be a block. I suppose we can actually change it to exactly what it's going to be. So it's going to be a fence gate block. And I'm going to call this example underscore fence underscore gate is equal to blocks dot register example underscore fence underscore gate and for the supplier it's just a new fence gate block which can just take in block dot properties dot from and I'm going to say, um, uh, for example, just blocks dot uh, fence gate, maybe. Uh, AKC fence gate will do. And the walls are literally the exact same, um, but just with a wall block and not a fence gate block. So just change fence gate to wall, change fence gate to wall, and just change this to a new wall block, and we can just change this to, for example, a uh, brick wall. Okay, and just import that, just change this to wall as well, of course. There we go. Then for the ladder and for the torch, we're going to need our own class. So let's just go into objects blocks. Let's create a new class and let's just call this um, mod torch block. And this can just extend torch block. Just like that. And then just add the constructor and we can change it to public instead of protected properties properties and i believe i'm just going to check but i believe there's also a wall torch block um yes there is so let me just check that this is yeah this is protected as well so we also need to go ahead and create a new class and call this one a mod wall torch block which once again extends uh, wall torch block just like that and adds the constructor of course so add that just rename it to properties once again now it's possible that in a newer version, potentially 1.16, these are already public. Uh, so you probably want to go ahead and check that before you create this new class. Uh, the way you can check in Eclipse, you can just press Control Shift T and search for the block class. So uh, fence gate block, for example. And in IntelliJ, you can just press Shift twice and that will bring up uh, pretty much the same menu, just a bit smaller, I believe. 
and uh, just check the constructor. If it's protected or private, you'll need to create your own class for it. Okay, and then we can go ahead and just create a ladder block as well. So new class, we can just call this a mod ladder. Oh, mod ladder block, which extends ladder block just like that and obviously we need to add the constructor um, they've called it builder that's fine uh, we'll keep it the same so then we obviously just need to go ahead and create a class for these um, so I'm just going to copy the wall and paste uh, three times so one two three the first one will just be example torch then it will be example wall torch and then it will be example ladder and we can change this to a mod ladder block change this to a mod ladder block change this to blocks.ladder and change this to example ladder change this to example wall underscore torch and this can be a mod wall torch block and this can just be blocks.torch uh, wall torch I suppose this can be blocks.torch and this can be mod torch block um, mod torch block there we go and just change this to torch okay now that we have done that we just want to go ahead and do the jasons i suppose so let's just go into our um our resources in our assets let's first do the block states because this won't take long so let's let's just actually start with the fence gate we'll do all the fence gates then we'll do uh, all the walls then we'll do all the ladders and then all the torches so in the block states we just want a new uh, file and this will just be um, example underscore fence underscore gate dot json you need to make sure it's a json otherwise it's not going to work of course now I'm just going to go ahead and copy the Acacia fence gate uh, all of these JSONs will be in the description I should probably mention and I just need to change block Acacia with um, tutorial mod colon block slash example and just replace all there we go and then we can go ahead and do the uh, the block model for these uh, I suppose the lang as well um, that won't take a second so block dot example underscore fence underscore gate uh, oh, tutorial mod of course block dot tutorial mod dot that's a comma well done Okay, and that will just be our example fence gate. Then the block models, there are uh, four block, f four, uh, one, two, three, four, four block models. So let's just go in here. Uh, I'm going to just copy def block so it's already adjacent. That will save me uh, a bit of time. So example underscore fence underscore gate is just the normal one and then example underscore fence underscore gate underscore open and then example underscore fence underscore gate underscore wall and then example underscore fence underscore gate underscore wall underscore open and then we can just open all four of these Let's just do the example fence gate first. So it just takes in a template fence gate. And here is where we just define the texture. So tutorial mod blocks. 
and I'm just going to uh, make it use uh, example underscore block which is obviously our great texture then in the open one um, so this one right here it's once again the same but just with um, the open up here so you do need to make sure you change block to blocks because obviously our texture um, is in uh, the blocks package not the block package so that is a very important thing to do then the wall so once again it is the exact same um, blocks example block obviously as I say all of these JSONs will be in the description so you can just go ahead and copy them in and there are a lot but that's kind of what you get for doing these type of blocks uh, where they have lots of different states and all that it, mean, it just means they have a, a lot of JSONs then let's just do the item model so we can have def block uh, copy that in and just call it example underscore fence underscore gate and if I just go in here we can do it, we can just parent off of the example fence gate since the model is fine and we won't need an inventory model for it then let's go back to the block states and let's get this wall done so the walls um, are slightly painful as well um, there's quite a few JSONs for the walls um, actually I think it's pretty much the same as uh, same amount as the fences fence gates so uh, example underscore wall let's just open that up so walls use uh, multi parts it's a slightly confusing concept um, and I'm going to use the brick one as my default so tutorial mod colon uh, block forward slash and then example replace all oh oops uh, block slash brick then we're replacing that there we go now we can just go to the block models uh, I suppose lang first lang doesn't take two seconds so it's not really an issue there we go block models there are uh, four block models so models block let's just copy def block again it's just very simple so we can have our um, first let's do the inven no wait no there's three block models for this so there is um, example underscore wall underscore inventory so this is the one that the item model will parent off of then there is example underscore wall underscore post and then there is example underscore wall underscore side so let's just open these so the inventory uh, just parents off of wall slash inventory and for the wall texture we just want to go ahead and implement uh, tutorial mod blocks and example underscore block then for the post it is the exact same uh, instead it just finds that it's actually a template uh, so tutorial mod blocks for a slash example underscore block so we can just close those two then the side is just the same as the other one so tutorial mod blocks forward slash uh, example underscore block 
okay that is the block models and then we just need the one item model which parents off of um, example underscore wall underscore inventory okay then we are on to the ladder so there's just two JSONs for the ladder well uh, three if you include the item model so let's just copy def block again example underscore ladder there we go let's just paste this in instead of uh, block slash ladder it will obviously just be example um, uh, let's just actually replace these manually, uh, not manually. Tutorial mod colon block forward slash example underscore ladder. Uh, replace all and close that. Then we have the lang. So block dot tutorial mod dot example underscore ladder. Example ladder. Then the block models. So let's just copy this in. Example underscore ladder. Now this is just directly the block model actually. So how it actually looks. Um, so instead of block slash ladder as the block here, we want it to be tutorial mod colon blocks forward slash uh, example underscore ladder so obviously we need our own uh, texture for that which is fine and then the item model I'm actually just gonna have to check this one because I didn't check this one so uh, models item I have them all downloaded so uh, I can see them pretty well I just got to do a bit of scrolling. I've gone past it. Ladder. Where's ladder? There it is. I assume it's just an item generated. Yes, it is just an item generated. Right, so we can just create um, a new. I'll just create a new file. Example. <coughs> example underscore ladder.json open that one up, paste this in, tutorial mod, colon blocks, forward slash, example, <coughs> underscore ladder. Okay, then for the torch, so let's, let's just paste this one in again, this is example, underscore torch, and then example, underscore wall, underscore torch open these two up so if we check oh wait no that's example wall oops example wall torch is what we want okay so for the torch it's literally just the simplest you can go block forward slash example underscore torch and for the wall torch I'm pretty sure it's very similar um, it's just instead of this it will be tutorial mod colon block forward slash example replace all oh oops I forgot to put an underscore disgraceful absolutely disgraceful that is can't believe I would do that Okay, then let's do the lang. So block dot tutorial mod dot example underscore torch is equal to an example torch. I think we actually need a block item for this, don't we? Um Yeah, I think so. Let's just 
do these and then we'll go over the block item because um, otherwise I don't see how it would know to place it on a wall so the block model uh, let's just copy def block let's call this example underscore torch and example underscore wall underscore torch so there we go example torch example wall torch torch is just like that and instead is tutorial mod colon blocks uh, forward slash example underscore torch then the wall torch um, is the same just like that and this is once again tutorial mod colon blocks forward slash example underscore torch and for the item model I think it's once again an item generated um, yeah in fact I'm very certain it is just an item generated so I'm going to go ahead and do example underscore torch and we can do tutorial mod items uh, for slash uh, example underscore torch actually let me just check something let's go here let's go into the textures item there's no torch item texture is there no so it just uses the blocks um, the blocks texture for that so blocks uh, yeah blocks example torch and I'm just going to do the wall torch as well um, it's going to be the exact same except it's just called wall torch and I think that's pretty much it we do just want to go ahead and see about this uh, this item model though so uh, item torch does that exist? it might be torch item nope yeah, let's have a look items it's worth checking these things because I think ah here we go so it uses a wall or floor item interesting okay so let's go into our main class let's go into our registry loop and we need to just filter it out of here so um, let's go and 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 then brackets not block is instance of uh, example wall torch Ex uh, no what was it mod mod torch mod wall torch and we can just copy this one and do the exact same for the torch so uh, mod torch block okay and then we can go into our item init so init uh, item init come down here let's create a new uh, public static final registry object uh, wall or floor item and let's call this example underscore torch is equal to items dot register um, example underscore torch and then a supplier is a new wall or torch wall or floor item so the first one is the floor item so block in it dot uh, torch dot get and then block in it dot wall torch dot get and then um, a new item dot properties dot and then uh, we can group it so that will be tutorial tutorial item group dot instance 
add a semicolon on the end and format it and there we go so now we can just close that close that so I'm just going to go ahead and do the textures and then I will be right back with you okay so guys as you can see I am now in the game I've just gone into my creative tab I've checked here I've got the torch the fence gate the wall and the ladder now if I go ahead and place down the torch um, ah yes that is something I did forget so for the torch you will need to go ahead um, into your client event bus and you need to make sure you set the render type to cut out so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that really quickly so right here and we also are going to need to do that for the ladder so um, torch example torch ladder and actually we also need to do it for the wall torch as well so wall uh, example wall torch and obviously uh, that would work when we go ahead and reload the game and obviously as you can see we can place it on here perfectly fine as well uh, if we just do time set night I don't, I don't know if this actually works no it doesn't okay let's go underground <clears throat> just so we can test um, the light on the torch just to make sure it does work I mean I know it's gonna work yeah uh, particles work of course um, let's just come out the fence gate right here it can connect to our walls as you can see it goes down when we connect it to a wall or a fence uh, it doesn't go down when we connect it to a fence of course though um, get rid of our fences um, we can check if our walls connect to a vanilla wall so let's just go um, I believe where are the vanilla walls at they're in decoration so <clears throat> if we just place go over here well, as you can see there's the free states right there and also there but if we place that there that there you can see that ours does connect to it and it connects to one as well um, so yeah that's a thing and then ladders as you can see uh, obviously we have we haven't reloaded the game so the cutout won't work but they work just as ladders should and yeah I mean that's that's it pretty simple tutorial um, I just figured I would cover it just in case um, some of you I don't know didn't have the Jasons or I, I don't know why um, why some of you wouldn't be able to do it but just in case some of you got a bit confused um, it is now all here and available to do obviously you do uh, need to have made sure you made your walls part of the walls tag uh, so that they can connect to other walls um, and set the cutout on the torches and the ladder and the uh, yeah both states of the torches of course and if you've reloaded the game these would no longer have an issue um, so yeah that's that's pretty much it um, if you guys did enjoy this tutorial please do be sure to smash your face into that like button and subscribe if you really enjoyed please do be sure to share it and uh, yeah I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.